Hey, hey. Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Going out skiing today, the last day of January. See how the conditions have changed. About a week since I skied here. I skied a couple of times over in Cravu, the neighbouring resort. Put up a couple of videos of that one. So we'll go up here. I'm uh, skiing with a friend of mine today on a snowboard. Uh, I'm not on a snowboard, he is. And uh, yeah, we'll just go and see what we can find, see what's happening. Lunch time as usual, the quiet time. So here's the video. That is the arrival point for the six-seater chairlift, De Fontaine. But it's closed today. France's uh, strike thing has hit it. Um, it's a national strike all over the place. But luckily the rest are open. So we just came up Cret here and uh, just a beautiful view up here. So, hey. hey <laughs> and I uh, thought I'd just do my view check right now. So looking to the east here. Someone up there having a, a bit of a sandwich or something or a smoke or something. But you can see the condition of the snow, it's just beautiful up here. Busselink Mountain straight ahead and unfortunately that's an avalanche zone. If I have a look past there you can see probably where it has avalanched already. Now they do have avalanche wires set up but only for this side to protect the piece below it. So anyway, looking over to the north, over towards the Parc des Ecrans, and you can see a beautiful cover in the snow, just dipping down below us here, is the town of Ombra, our town down the mountain, and the top end of the lake over here as well, which is more or less dry, apart from snow cover on it. And looking round towards Devil Wee, we've got where I used to live, straight ahead over to Sears Gap, which is that sort of line of rocks. I'll put pointers in all this in the edit. And then the mountain opposite us here, heading round. Opion looks a little bit different from this angle, but you can see the steepness of it. And there's always someone puts up fresh marks there when uh, it's just snowed. I will do that sometime, hopefully with someone, but it's the sort of thing you want to go equipped with airbags and everything. So uh, up to the arrival point, this is one of the older lifts up here. Just looking to the sun, aircraft flying by, really a beautiful, beautiful day. Just looking back round, you can see the sky. Very, very high, wispy cloud to the north, and that's it. So anyway, yeah, next I'm going to put the GoPro on. I've got the GoPro original, the GoPro 1 with me today, just to see how it performs. Hopefully it's going to work. We've just left the crate, and I'm going to just check this out. Looks quite interesting. Oh yeah. And some untouched powder, but it's not downhill. It looks good. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Powder. Here's another bit. It's usually quite good. Very nice. Really nice. Nice 
go back to Pist. Sailing. <laughs> lift on the mountain we just got and we're going to head up to the highest lift on the mountain and a uh, little area off to the left there that's pretty good fun to play with so here we go yep. this one bit of a flat and then we're going to do whoop de doops they've taken away the whoop de doops oh no they're further down now they used to be here but now they've made new ones bit of a, a ski view for a little while Okay, so just heading back up to the aforementioned place and uh, we'll head up there. Whatever we do after that, <laughs> I'll put into the tail out of this. So all pretty good, fairly quiet at lunchtime as usual. Still fairly cold, it's about two or three degrees down the bottom there. But at the top it's still minus four or five, hence the runny nose. 
But anyway, that's it for today, apart from the tail out there. So thanks very much for watching. Keep subscribing and until the next video, ciao.